I am Dr. Jyotika Doshi, working as Associate Professor at GLS University. In the paper of Object Oriented Concepts and Programming, this module is regarding C++ standard input output streams. There is hardly any computer application which does not require any input from the user or which does not generate any output from the application. So, we will also try to write all the applications which uh, uses input as well as output. So, in this module, we will talk about performing input and output operations using standard streams. In this module, we will discuss about streams, the hierarchy of the stream classes and the input oper output operations uh, using uh, default formatting as well as unformatted binary input output. First of all, let us understand what is stream. In C++, stream is like pipeline structure and it actually is a buffer which can store a series of bytes. When I say pipeline structure, that means whatever goes first will come out first FIFO. In C++, all the input output occurs in the streams and because of that, it provides device independent I.O. By device independent I.O. what we mean is whatever device we use for input or output the high level language program does not need to know the actual device. So, all the operations are common irrespective of the actual device. To use these stream based operations we require to include I.O. stream file in the program. The communication between I.O. devices and the C++ object in high level language C++ program takes place via operating system. We have the device drivers. So, device drivers actually talk to the uh, devices and operating system and the operating system provides the data to the stream of C class which is and that stream is used is associated with C++ object. Let us see the uh, simplest class hierarchy which we are using in the C++ program. We have the basic IOS class, we have iStream, OStream and IOStream classes which are uh, defined which are this in the library iostream.h and we also have ifstream, appstream and ofstream classes which are defined in appstream.h uh, file. iStream and ifstream are used for input whereas OStream and OFStream are used for output. IOStream is multiply inherited from iStream class and OStream class and AppStream is inherited from IOStream class which provides input as well as output operations. In detail, the hierarchy of IOStream classes actually is with the topmost class as IOS underscore base class and this class is particularly data dependent. It is not based on the template. All the descendant classes of base IOS underscore base class are template based classes and therefore they provide even wide character set. We, while defining the class we can use template based classes and specify what type of character we want to use as seen in these classes. Uh, it can be seen that it provides the standard stream classes like iStream, OStream and IOStream. It also provides the file stream classes like ifstream, ofstream and appstream and additionally it also provides the string classes iString stream, ostring stream and so on. The string classes are actually used to have the IO from the string in memory just like our C++ strings. The base class IOS underscore base as I said is type dependent and it describes the storage all the member functions which are common to IO streams. It also manages the formatting flags, flags uh, state of the stream and exceptions due to IO which we will see in the later modules. To support Unicode wide characters all the classes descendant to IOS underscore base starting from basic underscore IOS are template based and when we want to create the class say iStream for single character character set like ASCII we can use basic underscore iStream into ankle bracket care iStream 
this class is defined like this similarly for wide characters the class is defined as basic underscore i string w care underscore t as the data type and w i stream is the actual class so this is how classes can be instantiated or created let us say from basic stream classes it this way it provides unicode support for unicode wide characters also now there are some predefined streams in c++ for ascii characters which now onwards we will say as narrow character stream and also for wide character or unicode character streams c in c out c e r r and c log these are the narrow character streams whereas w c in w c out w c e r r and w c log these are the wide character streams this c in is associated with standard input device keyboard c out c r and c log they are associated with standard output devices standard error device and standard log devices respectively usually the standard devices are screened for these things now c out and c log they are providing buffered output that means whatever goes into the buffer uh, into the stream is not displayed on the screen at the same time whereas crr is using unbuffered output so immediately the error is displayed on the screen all these io streams actually require two processes code conversion and formatting for text processing uh, especially so when text processing is done first of all whenever we have the multi code character sets it is it may be required to convert it into ascii characters and sometimes it may be required to format the data also for human readable uh, formats whereas when we use binary io no formatting or no conversion takes place and so usually binary ios are faster now let us see how these operations can be performed using standard input output devices as i said standard input devices keyboard and output devices screen input operations we will use i stream or w i stream class and the streams are either c in or w c in respectively we will be here talking about i stream class so single ascii character sets at present the same things can be applied for wide characters also text input operations can be performed using either extraction operator or using functions this extractor operator and functions are already defined in the i stream and w i stream classes for binary input we will use the read function similarly for output operations we will be using c out or w c out as the standard uh, stream objects here we will be using c out and for text output we will be using insertion operator less than less than or functions and for binary output we will be using the write function let us see the output operations first consider the insertion operator which is the shift less than less than operator now here the data is inserted into the stream associated with the stream object output stream object and therefore it is known as insertion operator otherwise it is left shift operator here the data which is available in the memory in the form of in the form of variables it may be stored in binary so whenever it is stored in binary the data needs to be converted first of all into the standard characters for example number 65 when it is stored in the memory it is stored as 01000001 in binary now this number when displayed on the screen cannot be understood as 01000001 and therefore it will be first of all converted into the characters 6 and character 5 character 6 in ascii is hexa 36 and character 5 in ascii is hexa 35 so thus the first process is the conversion from binary to human readable characters and once it is converted it will be stored in the output stream thus the data is inserted after transformation into the output stream notice the direction of the arrow direction of the arrow is towards the destination and that is our output stream here and therefore suppose i want to display the value of x we usually write as c out less than less than x so arrow is towards the stream associated with c out object object c out is defined in std namespace and to use this object either we will have to 
use std colon colon c out or we can specify using namespace std before the program before main and then we can simply use c out this output operation is type safe type safe in the sense it does not need to bother about the data type of the item and this insertion operator is overloaded for all the basic data types in ostream class or wo stream class so depending upon the data type let me say int or float it will convert the results into the stream for user defined objects for example i have the time class and i define the object of class time then it requires to overload this particular operator i mean left shift operator into the corresponding class so if i overload less than less than operator in class say my time and then i have the object tm of the type of the class my time then i can write down c out less than less than tm otherwise it is not possible insertion operator actually can be associated from left to right and this overloaded operator returns a reference to the calling object that is the output string here and therefore we can use it in cascaded fashion for example c out less than less than total is equal to less than less than expression a plus b in the parenthesis so here first of all from left to right it will consider c out less than less than total so what that this total is inserted uh, into the output stream and then it will say less than less than a plus b so it is as good as c out now less than less than a plus b so now the value of a plus b will also be inserted into the output stream let us see the examples of using less than less than operator by default the output uses the default format that means the output is always left aligned and the default width is zero that means whatever number of characters or positions are required it will be using those many positions so if i say c out less than less than string c++ less than less than string comma quite easy to learn then the output will be generated as c++ comma quite easy to learn please note that no line break will be inserted after execution of the statement so if i write down c out less than less than 10 and c out less than less than 20 the output will not be 10 then line break and 20 the actual output will be 1020 because it will be inserted in the pipe that is our output streams as it is if if you really want to insert the line break then use either int l manipulator or use backslash n the new line character for example if i say c out less than less than 10 less than less than int l less than less than 20 then the output generated will be 10 new line and 20 whenever we are using the expressions it is better we should use the parenthesis for example c out less than less than 1 plus 2 is equal to 1 plus 2 in the parenthesis if we do not use the parenthesis then this statement will be c out less than less than string 1 plus 2 is equal to less than less than 1 plus 2 so less than less than 1 and then plus 2 will generate the syntax error the precision for the output by default it is 6 so when i say c out less than less than 1234567 or 1234567.789 and so on the output generated will be only of six significant digits the rounding will take place and if the value is larger not to accommodate in six digits before decimal point in that case it will convert the output into the e format or scientific format to flush the content of output stream we should use c out less than less than flush here flush is the manipulator which we will see in the later modules now other than insertion operator we can also use the member functions like put which are available in 
ostrim or W ostrim classes. Put member function is used to display only one character or to output only one character. As it is seen in the syntax, it returns the stream to the output that is reference to the O stream and because it returns the reference to the O stream, the, uh, this operation can also be used in cascaded fashion. So, if we see this example, C out dot put character A dot put character dash dot put character Z. We cannot use strings here as the argument, please do remember that. So, if I use C out dot put double quotes ABC, it will generate an error. Anyways, we can use the character in ASCII also. So, we can very well say C out dot put 65. The corresponding ASCII character A capital A will be displayed. Now, after output operations, let us see input operations. For input operations, the shift operator greater than greater than is overloaded in iStream and WIStream classes. This greater than greater than operator we call it as extraction because really we are extracting the data from input stream. Here we can also use the member functions available in these classes. There are various forms of get, get line and other functions. We will see here the forms of get and get line. So let us start with extraction operator. To input using extraction operator, the data is extracted from the input stream which is associated with i stream object C in or W i stream object W C in. Here the data conversion takes place from character to binary because in the stream when the input comes from keyboard, suppose I enter 65 from the keyboard, it goes as character 6 and character 5. But while storing in the memory we require it to be stored as binary 65 that is 01000001 in binary. So here also the transformation is necessary. Once the data is transformed from input stream, it will be stored in the memory. Here you can notice the direction of the arrow. The direction of the arrow again is towards the destination, but the destination is the variable in the memory and therefore the statement is written like C in greater than greater than X. C in is the stream and from stream it goes to the variable X. A C in object is defined in std namespace. So if you want to use C in either you will have to use using namespace std or we will have to access it using scope resolution like std colon colon C in. Just like output insertion operator, extraction operator also associates from left to right. It also returns the reference to the stream and therefore it can be used in cascaded fashion. So we can see C in greater than greater than X greater than greater than Y. Now whenever end of file is encountered, it does not return the reference to the calling object but it returns false 0. So if we are using and end of, uh, end of file is encountered, then the return value will be 0. Please do remember that. Input operation is also type safe. We do not need to bother about the basic data types. For all the basic data types like int, float, character, strings, C type strings, the operator is overloaded in the input classes, input string classes. For user defined objects, if we want to use this operator, then it is required to overload it in the respective class. Characters entered from the keyboard are transmitted to the input stream until we press enter key. Please do remember that leading white spaces are ignored and they are not scanned or extracted. The actual extraction stops whenever we find white space character or whenever we find invalid character in case of numeric values. Do remember that input stream is not flushed after the read operation. So whatever characters are entered into the stream, they remain there in the stream itself until and unless they are extracted. Let us see the example to understand all these concepts. Suppose we have written the, some code where the two variables a and b are of the type integer, x is of the type double and ch is of the type character. 
and we have said c in greater than greater than a greater than greater than x greater than greater than b greater than greater than ch now at the time of execution if the user enters characters 1 2 space 17.3 space 19t and then enter key from the keyboard then the extraction will be from the stream first of all all these characters go into the stream as 1 2 space 17.3 space 19 space t now the order in which they were entered now the extraction will start from uh, those positions so first of all character 1 will be extracted scanned then 2 will be scanned then the third character is space as soon as space comes because my variable is a which is integer space is invalid character and therefore the extraction will stop there for a the input pos position will remain there at the white uh, at the space character now the next is c in greater than greater than x white space is the leading character for x and therefore it will be ignored now 17.3 are valid for x because x is of the type double so all these characters are uh, scanned and extracted and the value 17.3 is stored in the binary in x after that white space character again will be uh, considered as leading white space for b in b it will ex uh, extract 1 and 9 but thereafter it finds t which is invalid character and therefore extraction will stop there storing the value 19 in b and then in the character t will be scanned and extracted using end of file end of file is control z for windows and control d for linux suppose we have written this program to enter the number and to find the sum of all the numbers which are entered till we press end of file so the while loop is while c in greater than greater than x sum is equal to sum plus x c in greater than greater than x will expect the user to enter the input suppose the user provides the input 7 5 3 1 4 and thereafter presses control z as soon as user presses control z the value of c in greater than greater than x the return value is considered to be false and therefore the while loop will terminate and as a result it will and control will be transferred outside the loop and we will see the result sum of the numbers is 20 here note that extraction operator does not do any validation that means suppose i want to enter the value for integer but i enter first character as some ascii character which is non integer let me say alphabet x in that case it will not do any validation and the extraction will stop it's there itself and therefore my input operation will fail in such cases after uh, input or output we can always check whether the input output is successful or not and for that we can use here i have given in in this example used fail bit so if i say c in dot fail the fail is the function if it returns true that means the input function here has failed once the fail bit is set remember that it will not be reset so afterwards also after some operations if i again check c in dot fail then it will still be true so it is the programmer's responsibility to clear this flag and for that the programmer can use c in dot clear now let us see input using the member functions of input stream classes i stream and w i stream here we will see get function with no argument and get function with one argument used for reading only single character and we will also see get with three arguments and get line function with three arguments which will be enable us to read array of characters to read single character the first function we will see here is get with no argument uh, if we see the syntax we do not provide any argument and the return value is integer how it is different from extraction operator is when we read using get function it read white space also this is how it is different from extraction 
and here the return value is integer. So whatever character is entered or scanned from the input stream, it will be stored as either unsigned character in the integer. If it is end of file, then end of file is also stored as integer. So to understand the difference between extraction operator and get function, see this example c in greater than greater than x and c in greater than greater than ch where x is integer ch is character. Suppose user input 9 and enter key here 9 will be assigned 9 will be stored in x and for ch it will be wait from the user to get to uh, have the input. Whereas instead of c in greater than greater than h if we have used c in is equal to ch is equal to c in dot get and again the input is 9 and enter key then 9 will be assigned to x but enter will be, enter key which is the white space character will be assigned into ch. Now let us read single character using get function with single argument. When we use this function the argument is just single character variable where the value of the character will be stored value of the input character will be stored and the return type is reference to the iStream class. Now here the difference between get with no argument and get with one argument. In get with no argument there was no argument and the return value was integer. Here the return value is reference to the iStream and we will have to provide one argument. The scanned value will be stored in the argument. Because it is returning reference to the calling object, we can use it in the cascaded fashion also. And therefore, if I have three characters ch1, ch2, ch3 suppose, then I can use scene dot get ch1 dot get ch2 dot get ch3. This is due to returning value which is the reference to the calling object. Now what if we want to scan more than one character? For that we can use get member function or get line member function. Let us see here get member function first of all. Now the problem with extraction operator is as soon as the white space occurs the extraction stops or gets terminated. So if we want to read more than one word or lines or paragraphs the extraction operator will not help us. So in such cases we should use either get or get line. Now looking to the syntax the first argument is char star str that means the c type string. The characters which are scanned or extracted from the stream will be stored as an array of characters in str. The next is count. Count is providing the maximum number of characters to be scanned and we also provide the third argument as the delimiter that means if at all the specified delimiter appears in the extraction then it would stop extraction that means here the extraction will not stop at white space the extraction will stop either by reaching the limit of count minus 1 or either by getting the delimiter or either by having end of file. Another thing to remember is once the screen once the uh, characters are extracted it is the responsibility of this function to append null character at the end. So it appends all the string with the null character. Do remember that the delimiter is not extracted here. So after reading the input position will be at the delimiter if at all the end of the extraction is due to delimiter. See this example. Here we have two strings str1 and str2 c type strings I have defined with 10 and 30 characters respectively. And the functions we have used c in dot get str14 dot get str28. Because I have not specified any delimiter in this third line, the default delimiter new line will be considered. In the next get statement, the sixth line. I have used scene dot get str1 8 comma h that means here I have used the delimiter I have specified the delimiter h that means when h appears it should stop or it should stop after 8 characters. Now see uh, the results my input is Mera Bharat Mahan hai. 
Now the first get is scene dot get str one four. That means it will scan three characters or till new line occurs. In our case, new line has not appeared before three characters, and therefore the scanned value is mer, which is stored in str one. Next is get str two eight. So here maximum seven characters will be scanned. and it will see for new line character before eight characters here there is no new line character again before eight characters so the next seven characters starting from a will be scanned and therefore str2 will contain a space b h a r a now my current position please remember is that t next get is scene dot get str1 8 h so here it will see for either appearance of h or eight characters so in this case before eight characters h has appeared and therefore the extraction will stop at delimiter h and thus the third get will scan t m a t space m a and then h has appeared that means it has not extracted all the eight positions it has extracted only t space m a four characters due to appearance of delimiter h and after that next is get str2 comma 10 so up to 10 characters it will scan or before the delimiter here the delimiter uh, appears before 10 characters and therefore the last extraction is h a n space h a i in str2 so this is how the extraction is terminated either before uh, either at the uh, delimiter or reading count number of characters let us see reading the data using get line here also if you see the syntax the syntax is same instead of get it is function get line that's all the return value is again i st reference to the i string that means it can be used in cascaded fashion and the three parameters are also same as get then how it is different from get with three parameters the only difference is in case of get the delimiter is not extracted whereas here the delimiter is extracted of course it is not stored in the string but the cursor but the input position will be after the delimiter not at a delimiter in case of get line another thing is if the delimiter is not found before count number of characters or before end of file then it will set the fail flag or at in case of end of file it will set end of file flag that means the input will not be considered as successful operation let us see this example we have the string c type string again which is of 30 characters and we want to say c in and here i have said in the third line c in dot get line str125 because i have not specified the delimiter by default it is the null character uh, new new line character and the maximum number of characters which i should read is 25 the input is thank space god which is almost of 8 uh, characters and after that it will be the new line character that means the delimiter has appeared before 25 characters and my operation is successful so in str1 i'll get thank space god if i would have used extractor operator greater than greater than in that case str1 will have only thank and as soon as the white space character occurs the extraction will stop now let us see about unformatted read where the data conversion will not take place so that means whatever is there in the stream will go in the buffer as it is this is useful for binary input and here it has two arguments c type string and the count that means it will read the bytes until the count limit is reached or until eof is reached no terminating character but do re remember here that the function will not append null character the string terminating character to the extracted characters and if the string ends before reading count number of bytes then it will set the fail flag 
let us see this example here we have we are trying to read in str1 six number of characters using cin dot read str1 six and we are trying to see whether this input is successful or it has failed now my input is thank god because i said six it will read thank character i mean five characters thank then space and after that you can see all garbage characters because my string is of 10 so remaining characters we do not know the uh, function dot read will not terminate the string using null character and therefore we will not get thank space null character if the programmer want to have null character after thank space then the programmer will have to know how many characters were read in the last read operation to do so we can use the function g count so in the example one can see c in dot read str1 here i have said four characters to read and after that i said str1 c in dot g count so here g count will be four characters if four characters are read successfully and at that position i want to insert null character on my own similarly for unformatted output we can use binary we can use the write function the write function returns the stream to o stream class or wo stream class it will write count number of bytes from the string into the output stream so row bytes again no conversion takes place it will not terminate at new line character it will write whatever is there in the string will be written as it is in the string remember we should have enough size for writing the characters see this example c out dot write str120 and here the str1 string contains trying colon backslash n write function backslash n so when i say c out dot write 20 the first 20 characters will be inserted into output string so it will insert trying colon backslash n write uh, and f u n c till 20 characters after that t i o n backslash n will be written or will be skipped here in this case because we are saying only to write 20 characters the next is see out dot write hello 7 so it will put this hello into the output stream it will add hello into the output stream but i have said seven characters so here it will put blank blank it will add blank blank but this behavior is please understand uh, really speaking maybe anything not necessarily it will always put blank blank and then we say how are you 20 characters to be written and then i am fine 10 characters to be written right so you can see the output whatever is there in the buffer is written exactly in the same way and therefore in the display it will be showing trying colon then backslash and so the next output is shown in the next line it say write func hello because we have no new line it will not insert new line on its own space then how then new line again so ru is in the next line thereafter i have not specified new line so i am fine is written on the same line it is displayed on the same line so this is about input output operations using standard string so let me summarize what we have learned today in this module we have learned input and output operations using standard streams uh, c in and c out which are associated with uh, default devices keyboard and screen for input operations we have seen the extraction operator greater than greater than and we have also seen the functions get and get line the extraction operator stops at uh, white space character white space character may be new line character may be tab may be blank space and so and so forth uh, get function we have used for reading single character with and without argument so we can use get without argument get with argument after that we have read we have used 
get with three arguments and get line with three arguments for reading array of characters. When I say array of characters more than one characters are read, but how it differs from extraction is here scanning or extraction will not stop at white space and therefore, get and get line with three arguments we can use to extract uh, multiple words or lines or paragraphs. The difference between get and get line with three arguments is get will not extract uh, the uh, delimiter and the position will be there itself whereas, get line will extract the delimiter, but will not store in the array. Other than that we have used uh, binary read, read function to read the binary data. Here when I say binary read the read by, bytes are read and uh, extracted in the uh, memory as it is. They do not perform any translation, any conversion or any formatting. Other than that we have seen output operations using insertion operator using put function. Insertion operator will not insert a new line character on its own please do remember that, but whatever there is there in the buffer in the memory will be displayed on the screen after conversion. Put function will put only single character on the screen. Now, other than put function there are many other functions for writing, but we are not discussing those here in this module. Other than text output we have also seen binary output by using write function. When we say write function whatever is there in the memory buffer will be written as it is in the stream. So, new line will go as new line in the stream, white space will go will, uh, as white space in the screen, no terminating characters will be inserted in the uh, stream. Thank you. I hope all of you will now practice this and be the master of using input and output using standard streams.